word dancing as he loves to do. 20-year-old Aaron Pryor from Cincinnati, Ohio, coming out to defend his title at 132 pounds. The outstanding lightweight in America, national Golden Gloves champion, national AU champion, 14 times a winner against international competition. An innovator, a creative fighter, up against, though, a 17-year-old here, three times a winner in the Junior Olympics, and now coming through into senior boxing, 17-year-old Thomas Hearns from Detroit, Michigan. However, he has a unique situation here, and he's boxing a man, the tallest man he'll ever meet in Thomas Hearns, Junior Olympic champion, and a very, very fine boxer puncher. He'll have tremendous reach over Aaron. Obviously, Aaron's going to get inside and quickly. Right. And this Hearns is a stiff puncher, long arm, reminiscent of Jackie Wilson, former Golden Glove champ back there in the 30s, and the world champion later on. Aaron's going to have to get inside that long lead of Hearns, who has beautiful mobility, and Aaron Great man, boxing off of the lead. Turn, he's clever. We've seen him many times. And there's Pryor with that vision left to He's strong, Pryor. Trying to get the herd in a hurry. Turn's punching back. Pryor certainly wants to uh, finish it in a fairly glamorous fashion. He's got a tough Carter in there now. Don't sell the young Detroit athlete short. Remember, Turn has had of over 100 pounds. record 196 and lost six Aaron Pryor won 142 and also lost six Pryor won a silver medal in the Pan Am game actually knocked out the Canadian in the finals someone said after he hit him in the hit the Canadian in the chest he was pounded out he called it a foul and Aaron with the drive with the gold medal they return with a nice short snappy right hand but Aaron pursues him relentlessly Pryor is in very good condition coming out then for the second round defending his lightweight title 132 pounds against the much taller Thomas Hearns from Detroit, Michigan. Pryor doing a little fancy dancing. Incidentally he's representing Indianapolis here and he's got a big 500 on his shorts. Cincinnati. 
Fair had a big second round. Porter knocked down over Hearn, staggered him several times. Hearn still in the looks clear. There's that big overhand right. Hearn just doesn't seem to have a defense. He slipped, no count. No points taken away. Oh, and there they both scored with right hand. They both have excellent chance. taken away. You have to actually stop the action and point to the judges. You're taking points away. That's just a caution. Oh, and there's a left to the body and a right to the chin. One of the best combinations in boxing. Fire. Fire catches the right hand. They both exchange right. This is a magnificent box between two excellent boxer punches. Breaks in, they must step back with two feet for a legal break. That's the second caution on Hearn for holding. Next time he'll be called. There was a great right hand by Hearn. Hearn against Storm. Another right hand. And Pryor is Pryor was staggered. Another right hand. Another right hand. Pryor is being hit, taking his hands down. He lets Hearn wail away at him. That's one of Pryor's bad habits of dropping both hands. Another right hand. Bleeding from the nose. Meyer may have let this guy steal the bout from him. He isn't careful. Keep Good left by a Breyer. Breyer coming back. Hearn coming back. Both men wailing away. And the crowd loves it. Three, two men around. And there was a left hook that landed. Well, that was a tremendous fight. Aaron Prime made to go all the way for, I'm sure, a victory. But I think Raleigh will see a lot more of this boy Thomas Hearns. Maybe in a heavier division, he may put a little weight on and move up. Yes, indeed. Fire is your champion.